I know what you are all thinking. How did I get so huge? Why do I feel so energetic all of the time? How are my mass and my energy related? Body mass is directly related to the amounts of food and drink you are consuming and the amounts of energy that you are expelling. I prove this using an equation I derived. E equals MC squared. Energy that's consumed in the form of food or drinks can either be stored in the body in the form of major energy storage form called fats, you all know what I'm talking about, short-term energy storage form of the carbohydrate reserve of glycogen, you all have been sugar high before, don't lie, or protein, Dude. which is only used in severe circumstances like starvation or finishing up that last rep in the gym. Not really. A law I came up with, which I call the first law of thermodynamics, states that energy is neither created nor destroyed. People lose weight when the energy energy they consume in the form of mass called food is less than the energy they expel and vice versa. Energy consumed and expelled from the body is generally measured in calories. One calorie is defined as the amount of heat that is required to raise the temperature of one liter of water by one degree Celsius. Yes, it is a bizarre way to measure our food, but this is the standard which anybody can see how much energy they are eating and expelling relative to their food and daily activities. The sources of energy in the food we eat include the macronutrients, protein, Bro. carbohydrate, and fat, as well as alcohol. For all you drunks out there, the energy constant of food can be measured by bomb calorimetry, which is measuring the amount of heat that is released by combusting a known weight of food inside a sealed chamber. It's similar in concept to putting wood or aerosol in a fire and seeing how much energy is released from the wood or aerosol. Carbohydrate and protein provide 4 calories of energy for each gram. Alcohol gives 7 calories per gram and fat gives 9 calories per gram. That would make fats the most dense fuel compared to alcohol, carbs, and protein. If energy from food consumption constantly exceeds energy output by as little as 25 calories a day, then over time a person will become substantially obese. That's like eating less than half an extra donut a day for all you gluttons out there. Although the body continuously consumes a mixed diet of carbs, Dude. proteins, and fats, and alcohol, you daily drinkers know who you are, the preferred storage of energy is fat. Consumed alcohol is immediately combusted for energy because it cannot be stored in the body. Protein Brother. and carbs have very little storage capacity. Most of the time, protein Ooh. is highly regulated and efficient. Carbs are stored in a polysaccharide sugar daddy of glucose called glycogen, which can be found in muscle and the liver. Glycogen is usually gone very quickly, such as during exercise or not eating for eight hours, just like the sugar daddy. Remember kids, the body does not directly convert excess carbs to fat. That is a myth. Large carbohydrate consumption might cause de nova lipogenesis, which is an overcomplicated term for where certain sugar-related molecules converts to the form of energy for fat, called fatty acids. But this is usually a minor result in weight gain. If there is excess glycogen consumed, the body usually reacts by increasing the glycogen use, combusting the excess carbohydrate consumption. So how do you gain weight? Weight gain is most likely contributed to eating a lot of carbs and a lot of fats. Because when excess fat calories are consumed, it is stored very easily as fatty acids in the body. As compared to carb glycogen storage, which your body overcomplicates everything, having the best tasting food calorically light, making us want more and more energy. Glycogen can only be stored with water. It's actually three grams of water for each gram of glycogen. Fat does not. So fats are calorically denser in storage and does not require grams of water to be stored with it. Imagine how many weeks you can live off with just 30 pounds of your own body fat alone. You cats know what I'm talking about too. Check out this channel for the entire nutrition course or other educational videos. Or if you are just bored out of your mind.